Hello! Today's lesson is rate of change and slope. The objective is I will be able to explain how to calculate the rate of change. Rate of change describes how one quantity changes in relation to another quantity. So it's the change in y over the change in x. So as I shared before, rate of change is your slope and it's the change in y over the change in x. So we have change in y which in the formula is y2 minus y1. So you'll take these two coordinate points. When given two coordinate points, you have your y2s and your y1s. You plug them into the formula. Then over the change in x. So in the formula, it's x2 minus x1. So in your coordinate point, you take your x2, plug that in, your x1, and plug that in. Let's try an example. So we have our two coordinate points. A lot of times you're going to use two coordinate points to solve for rate of change. So the first thing you're going to want to do is label them x1, y1, only because it's written first, x2, y2, only because it's written second. You'll notice down here I have the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All I'm going to do is take my coordinate points, plug the value into the corresponding spot, and then solve. So my first point is y2. So y2 is 13 minus y1 is 7 over my change in x. So my x2 is 5 minus my x1 is 2. And then I solve my numerator on top. So 13 minus 7 is 6 all over 5 minus 2 is 3. So notice that we have a ratio or a fraction and then you can go ahead and simplify it. If you can't simplify it, you can just leave it as a fraction or a ratio. But six over three simplifies nicely to two. So my rate of change for this problem is two. Let's look at another example. For this example, we are going to find the rate of change from the given table. Your goal here is to pick two coordinate points, any two coordinate points. You're given three, but you only need two. So I picked the top two just because they're written first. The first thing you want to do is label them. So this is my x1, y1 because it's written first. This is my x2, y2 because it's written second. All you have to do now is plug in those values into the, cor into the formula and solve. So it's y2 minus y1, so 5 minus 3 over 0 minus a negative 1. Notice that it's negative, negative, or minus a negative. Now all we have to do is solve. So when we solve, we have 5 minus 3 is 2. All over, this minus a negative becomes a plus, so 0 plus 1 becomes a 1. We can simplify this, and again, we get 2. Our next example is a graph. When solving for the rate of change of a graph, you can do two things. You can do like we did before with the table and a coordinate point. Identify your two points. So I can take this point and this point. I can label my x1, y1, x2, y2, and solve. Or if we remember, rate of change is change in y over the change in x. So we can start at the lowest point. We can identify two points. So I can do this point here, this point here, identify my two points, and do my change in y. So I can go my change in y. This goes up one, right? So my change in y is up one, and my change in x is left one. That's going to make that a negative one. So my slope is 1 over a negative 1. Simplify that to negative 1, and there is my rate of change. Our next example is to find the rate of change over negative 3, comma, 0. This isn't a coordinate point. We're not going to go to negative 3, comma, 0 and identify rate of change. There's no rate of change there. What this is is an interval. So between negative 3 and 0, what is the rate of change? What these are are your x values of the coordinate point. 
So we're given two points. The x value for your first point is negative 3. The x value for your second point is 0. We need to identify the y's. So we're going to go to negative 3 on the x. So 1, 2, 3. And we're going to go up until we hit the line. So here's the line. So it's negative 3 and 5. And then 0 is my next. So 0 is right here. So we're going to go up until we hit the line. We hit there at 2. So when x is negative 3, your y is 5. When x is 0, your y is 2. Now all you need to do is solve using the formula. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Go ahead and label them x1, y1 because it's written first and x2, y2 because it's written second. Then we're gonna go ahead and plug in. So it's y2, which is two, minus y1, which is five, over x2 is zero, minus x1 is negative three. And we're gonna go ahead and solve straight across. So two minus five is a negative three, over zero, this becomes a plus three, we solve that, negative 3 over positive 3 becomes a negative 1. So your rate of change is negative 1. That's it for the lesson. Now it's your turn to try. Your turn to try. You have two tasks now. First, you're going to go to your bell work for this week, and you're going to explain, because remember that was the objective, you're going to explain how to calculate the rate of change. Then the second thing you're going to do is you're going to go to quizzes and you're going to complete the practice assigned for you. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help. Talk to you soon.